Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, no fooling around today. We're just going to get right in this because I think I'm going to be here for a while. Uh, working on this uh, BAL AccuSlide room, the one that did a video on a week or so ago um, where we just, I was afraid the gearbox was tearing up. Uh, the gentleman wanted me to adjust the room, but I was afraid the gearbox was going to uh, tear up before we could get that done. So we ordered a new gearbox. So we're gonna do that today, change the gearbox, and adjust the slide. So uh, first thing we gotta do is get this fascia off of here. Um, I'm pretty sure. Let me let me double let me look at that again. But I believe I believe we gotta get the fascia off. So I'm just going to very gently <laughs> use my little crowbar and get all that fascia off and then I'll be back. I know we had to have our dishwasher work on a couple of times. The guy said they could have put, said they could have spent another couple of dollars to put a part in there where this would never happen. They save a buck or two and put in some plastic in it, you know. Got that face y'all away. Now we got some room to work. Yes. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change this gearbox. So I'm gonna uh, loosen these the center adjustments on these. Uh, if you remember from that last video, you know we got a we got uh, the two cables come in at the top. There's uh, adjusters on them, and then also in the center of these brackets there's an adjuster so I'm just gonna back those off so we'll get enough room get enough slack in these chains to change that gearbox so don't have to take anything completely apart typically but you do just have to loosen stuff up a lot so uh, let me go grab some tools and we'll get started on that so I forgot to bring my wrenches in I'm gonna take my sharpie I'm gonna mark everything just for grins and giggles. I know we're gonna completely adjust all these cables, but still, I might wanna like to know where we started. So I'm just gonna take and just mark all the adjuster bolts. I'm gonna go around and do that. And then we're just gonna start loosening this uh, center one up all the way around. This is not going to be a step-by-step -step how to video just because I just don't think I'm going to have that much time today. It does take a considerable amount of time sometimes to uh, shoot these videos, believe it or not. So uh, yeah, uh, I've got these marks so I'm just going to go ahead and start start backing them off uh, now there is on BAL's um, website there is a really good video on how to adjust these uh, cables and yes I went and watched that video because <laughs> uh, I had actually have never like just done a complete you know, a complete adjustment on one of these things. But the video makes it look really simple. Uh, I'm hoping that's the case. 
and we're going to find out here in a little bit. And these ratchet wrenches make this job a lot easier too. I couldn't imagine doing this without ratchet wrenches. See, these cables are getting looser all the time. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. And then uh, when we start doing something else, I'll bring y'all back. Got all the cables detention now we're gonna start changing this gearbox it's not bad it's got uh, it's just got four lag bolts hold it to the wall and uh, these chains should should be able to just kind of tip this motor and gearbox and get you know on and off these chains as soon as we get it unscrewed from the wall. Get them wire holders out of the way. We're gonna end up cutting them, cutting them wires, connecting to the new motor. Five screws. Five lag bolts hold it to the wall. So there's our new one. Hopefully it sounds a lot better when we get done than the old one. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and cut these wires with my Klein stripper. Which you can find in my Amazon store, link below. Now, should be able, should be able to just tip this thing, or just pull the chain off. In with the new. Just like that. We're gonna screw it back to the wall, make our wire connections, and then uh, we're gonna start adjusting cables. The motors screwed back to the wall, wire connections are made. Uh, I just got a little bit of tension on those cables because we know this cable here is way too long. So we need to figure out where we're gonna where we're going to cut it off and make it the right length. So all I am doing is getting, so just kind of getting these things, getting these cables snugged up. Make sure nothing's tangled. Make sure all of our adjustments are kind of in the middle. So we have plenty of adjustment.
that's how much that's how too long that cable is so uh, let me go get some wrenches we'll get his clamps off because uh, I don't know if I mentioned the customer replaced his cable he didn't have the crimper so he could use the furl that's provided with the cable so he did he did what he could he went to Lowe's and got some cable clamps and put those on there and they probably would have worked just fine but I have I have the crimper so we're gonna put the furl back on it like it's supposed to have so let me go get some wrenches we'll get these clamps off and we'll be back all right we got all those uh, got all those clamps off and uh, now we're gonna figure out how long we want to make this cable a lot of times when I when I build these cables because uh, if you if you replace your cable in your BAL slide room you will get a universal cable and you will have to cut it off you and you have to make it the right length and you have to cut it off they give you a furl to crimp but then you have to have the tool to do it with and uh, the tool's not all expensive matter of fact the hydraulic one i'm going to use here in a minute believe it or not is in my amazon store i know shocker right uh, appreciate everybody that goes to my amazon store and buy stuff that uh, helps out a little bit doesn't cost you any more uh, but it helps Amazon will throw me a few pennies for every sale so it helps so got the furrow on there got the cable about where I want it I'm just gonna pull that furrow up there and I am actually gonna mark this cable and then I'm gonna very gently put these little needle nose Bunch grips out here to kind of hold hold that cable until I can get it loose, get it out here, and get it crimped. So, right. so I've got the cable marked. So even if my my uh, vice grips slip, I know where I want the cable. So let's spin this nut back off this eye bolt. I know y'all can't see my hands are in the way, but I'm doing the best I can. This hydraulic crimper is the way to go. I'll tell you people. Let me slide that furl back, make sure. Yep. We're right on our marks. It's all good there. One last time. Perfect. Now we take the ice grips off and finish crimping it. You do have to do it about three times on a furl this size because the die is just not as uh, wide as the uh, as the furl and this comes with a whole set of dies you can you can do uh, you can crimp like uh, cable battery cable ends and uh, you know these these steel cables for like pop-ups or these BAL rooms or a multitude of things. Anything that you need to crimp, these will work. So there we go. We are crimped, looks good. I may do it out here on this end just a smidge more. We're gonna call this good. There we go. Got a cutter here specifically for cutting this cable. <laughs> I know, shocker. It's also in my Amazon store. I'm gonna cut this excess cable off. The customer just like, huh, 
That was way easier than the way I had to do it. <laughs> I did it with a grinder. He, he, he did. <laughs> yeah. They they make a tool to do all this stuff. All right. We're done up here for right now. Uh, we're going to run this room out. Uh, if you go to BAL's uh, website, they show you adjusting the room, making all the final adjustments on the cables with the room out. Um, now that is not a flush floor room like this one is, but I think, I still think it'll work. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna go, we're just gonna run this room out and then I'll be back when we start adjusting the cables. And I don't know how in depth I'm gonna go into adjusting the cables. Cause like I say, BAL has a great, uh, great video on their website you go watch that all right we were so far off unlike the video uh, if you go watch BAL's video uh, the top was fine they just adjusted the bottom well our top was way off too it was about uh, it was almost two inches difference from that end to that end so we got we got that good now so now we're gonna start adjusting the bottom just like they show you in their video okay and all we're doing is uh, you have to remember that these cables there's eight cables if you need to adjust the the bottom out the bottom end cable needs to be loose so you've got room to adjust it uh, this will mess with your brain a little bit if you let it but uh we're gonna carry on here yeah, we've uh, made all of our adjustments, just like BAL wants them. Uh, the cables seem to all be tensioned about the same. Do the squeeze test, and everything seems good. So now, for the exciting part, the customer's gonna go ahead and push the button. We're gonna run her in, see what happens. I know it sounds a lot better <laughs> than, than that last video. Everything's staying nice and straight. Our brackets are going to miss each other just fine. We're going to come all the way in. And then we'll go outside and see if we're nice and square. Because we're pretty square inside. When it goes out, just as soon as it stops, as soon as it touches, stops. All right, let's go outside and see how we did. All right, let's see. All right, really good top to bottom on this end. You get, look good, top to bottom on this end. We'll call this baby good. We're gonna run it back out again. And I've gotta put the little foam stops on the uh, on the adjuster bolts but um, this thing gonna be done and of course gotta put the fascia back on that's no biggie I've got brad guns and we'll we'll nail her back up there just like it was will not y'all do just like you was Go down there, leave me a comment, a criticism, a concern. Don't forget to check out those links. Go check out my Amazon store. Just about all the tools uh, and parts that I use uh, are in my store. So if you'd if you'd hit that store up, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna go up the road and fix another one, and uh, y'all have a fantastic day.